Petty for you, Juan John. Yeah, dude. Classic. Guys, what's up? It's <laughs> Brendan from Heartbreaker Guitars. I got Juan John here, I got Toby over there, and we're in the Heartbreaker Lounge at the back of the store, Las Vegas, Nevada, in the Heartbreaker showroom. Anyway, Juan John, we got Laravee guitars. These things are amazing, okay? You get handmade USA quality for about a half for about half the price for a lot of the other boutique builders, mm -hmm. you know? So, I mean, you really get a lot of bang for the buck. And uh, Gene Larravee just, he knows how to build a guitar. So what we got here, we got two OMs. As you can mm -hmm. see, they look quite similar. Uh, there is a difference though. Let's take a look at the back. Let's do it. This is East Indian Rosewood, and that there is Mahogany. Okay, other than that, OM, same neck, same bridge, same this, same that, everything's the same. So, what we wanted to do is kind of sample A, B, the two guitars next That's to right. each other. See how Let's the Indian Rosewood sounds next to the mahogany. Yeah. So, why don't I'm, we start I'm enjoying off. doing this, man. This is like, <laughs> I've, I never get to do something this close with mahogany, rosewood, multiple different rosewoods, yeah. you know, like this is really cool. Yeah. So, the, like I said, the same guitar, they look alike and they are alike. Yeah. Well, only different, difference back and sides. So, uh, let's start off with the G test, the famous. <laughs> Okay, what are you hearing, Juan John? I'm hearing a little more depth on that, and I'm hearing a lot more cut through on this. Mm -hmm. Like this my might immediate... be better for like soloing or yeah, flat picking kind of thing. Absolutely, if you're doing like a solo flat picking type thing, but then again, this really does sound good too. Yeah. It's just different. This has a different color to it. That's got a little more depth. This has a little bit more punch up front in your face. That's mm -hmm. kind of what I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. hearing. Yeah, well, you know, um, mahogany has that reputation for being warm, bright, um, beautiful, rich sounding. And Indian Rosewood's got that robust, it's got that power. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, both extremely common with acoustic yep. guitars um, because they work. Right. You know? Right. Um, they've been building guitars with mahogany and rosewood forever, and mm -hmm. um, th that, that's the these reason. These are the classic combos, really. They really I mean, are. these, this guitar, and I know, you're right. I mean, a lot of the mahogany is a softer sound. It's a, those are a lot more robust. Uh, but when you're doing the single note melodies mm -hmm. and you're playing behind something like this, the mahogany, in my experience, just seems to cut through quite a bit better as a lead instrument. Uh, I mean, right. don't get me wrong, the Rosewood sounds insane all the time. It's yeah. great. Yeah. Um, but for some reason, I've always, you know, gravitated towards mahogany when it came to doing lead stuff and, and that sort of yeah. you know, fast picking type. And you know, these builders that are out there right now, these, these small bench luthiers are really breaking the mold of our preconceived notion of what wood should sound like. Yeah. You know, like uh, uh, immediately when you think of you know, a mahogany guitar, you're thinking dark, dark, warm tones. And, but the way they're bracing and the way they're pairing the woods mm -hmm. and the design and the, um, ba basically the engineering behind the instruments, they're just, they're just breaking all the rules these days. And they're creating these instruments that yeah. are so versatile mm -hmm. that can be used for just about anything from blues to bluegrass, whatever. Absolutely right. They're listening to the customers, man. People yeah. were, you know, they, people give input and, and a lot of, the public don't realize that companies do listen, you know. Uh, so really great companies like, you know, Larave, uh, McPherson, all these people, they listen to their customers and they yeah. do change, they do things different and it's because the customer definitely wants to hear something more out of yeah. just the standard instrument, the no standard doubt. wood, you know, they want more. And so it's great to see these companies like kicking it up. Yeah, no yeah. doubt. Okay, well let's do a couple back and forth real quick. All right. Um, let's do that famous. <laughs> All right. I would 
say probably the, the volume and projection seems pretty darn close to me. Yeah. Um, what else are you reading between the two, between the mahogany and the rosewood? Uh, for me, it's a subtle tone difference with the mahogany. Uh, there is a high mid range that is here mm -hmm. and a little less bass. Mm -hmm. That's got a, a, a lot more bass and mm -hmm. a more balanced out mid range. Mm -hmm. Um, and the highs actually kick up. There's, a, there's more mid-range on the highs to me mm -hmm. on Let's this guitar. So my, what my ear's hearing is this, these notes right here. Yeah, yeah. That whole area right there, like when you're... What I mean by cutting through is that, that yeah. high mid. Yeah, yeah. And what I mean by the lows being different, it's not that it's bad, it's just different. Mm. You know, it's, there's not as much, but you have, you know, it's there, but it's deeper on that. Mm -hmm. But this punch is higher up here. Uh -huh. And then it depends where you're hitting it, right? Yeah, it does. You can, see, even if I hit up here, I don't feel the low end on the guitar, but when I, you know, you come down here and it starts, change and it stays fairly consistent it'll change on that I yeah. guarantee you yeah now what if you're playing like a fast attack uh, strumming like let's say uh, like an AGD like yeah much more aggressive low end on that one Whoops. Much more aggressive low end on that one. I yeah. can just hear it by you, by okay. you playing from to my direction. So the type of player uh, with the rosewood, at least in this instance, with mm -hmm. these Larrys, what type of player you think would favor the rosewood versus the mahogany? Man, you know that is such a hard question because everybody's different. I mean, I've seen the same player on a on a mahogany guitar play. Uh, I mean, Tommy Emmanuel, perfect mm -hmm. example. Mm -hmm. He plays, um, of course, he's got the Matins that he plays, but I've seen him on a J45. I've seen him on a Martin and he still sounds like Tommy Emmanuel. But, yeah. but you know, the, it's just the actual attack, the bass, the response of the guitar itself definitely changes what he, you know, what he does when he plays it. It's mm -hmm. really cool to mm -hmm. see that. Yeah, the um, dynamics. Yeah, the dynamics of what he's doing changes, and mm -hmm. it changes with the guitar. A wise man told me once, uh, somebody knew, knows what he's doing, George Gruen, you know who he is. Mm -hmm. um, he, uh, <laughs> he said that every guitar has its own voice, and every guitar does something phenomenally well. And um, it's up to the player to have that accentuated, you know. Yeah. You know who else said that? Edge said that about every piece of gear does one thing well. Yeah. You know, he likes yeah. to mess around with effects and all that. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do with acoustics, but. Yeah, no, it's true. Like everything does, and this does something very well that that, that, that doesn't do as well as this does. Right, right. The woods are different, you know? And so like when a player gets his hand on something, if you're gonna be a singer songwriter, I mean, it's gonna have to do with your voice. It's yeah. gonna have to do with your attack yeah. with, I mean, so you, essentially these people gotta get their hands on the guitars and figure it out for themselves really. Yeah. And, or just get both. Let's do one more sound <laughs> demo. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play a rhythm real quick in A, and uh, then I want to switch guitars and have you solo, and we'll try to do it at about okay. the same volume. Okay. And uh, so here we go. Cool. Nice. Way cool, way cool. All <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Dude, 
yeah. These things come in just under $2,000, all handmade, Southern California, Jean Larrabee, uh, no laminate woods going on with these guitars, all solid woods, Yeah. killer multi-layer satin finish. And look at the burst on this thing, man. It's <laughs> the like, burst is super cool. It's got like that vintage mm -hmm. thing going on, but it's a new guitar. Yeah. But it's just got that look, man. Mm -hmm. That tortoise pit guard's pretty easy on the eyes, too. Yeah, yeah. It's got the yeah. maple binding, which really pops against the dark burst. It's got rope purfling, ebony fretboard overlay. Um, this looks like a it's rosewood well bridge. Yeah, and, um, it does. Yeah, man. That's awesome. Larravee OM guitars, guys. Hope we gave you a good insight on the difference between the rosewood and the mahogany Larravees. And um, if you got any question about these guitars or any Larravee in the shop, give us a call here at Heartbreaker. This is Brendan. That's Toby snoozing away. We might be kind of boring, man. He always falls asleep during our demos. Dude, he's he's out always. Like he's always out. I don't I don't understand. I don't know how a dog can sleep that much. I think he got into Vic's sleeping pills. But <laughs> anyway, um, thank you for watching, Brandon, Vic, Toby, Heartbreaker Lounge signing off. Have a great day, guys. What about that one? What? He didn't say his name. He said Brendan Vic. <laughs> <laughs> it's the whole three syllable thing. Juan John, my man. My man. <laughs> Toby, my pooch. Give me a little paw there. There you go. <laughs> Heartbreaker Lounge. Thanks for watching. Hit like, subscribe.